Welcome back to Jersey Matters. For those who think today's young people are only concerned with playing video games, texting, or just plain thinking about themselves, there are some young people at Long Branch High School who could change your mind. They're doing something heartwarming, unselfish, and labor intensive, one nail at a time. Jersey Matters' Vanessa Tyler has the story of the house that youth built. Vanessa. Larry, do you hear that? That's the sound of young people doing good. Those teens are building a lucky family a home. They're also building something else, goodwill, as they take the time to lend a hand and put in some sweat equity to help those in need. The hammering hits the issue right on the nail for students like 16-year-old Justin Navarro. It just made me appreciate more that I had a roof over my head every day. A new appreciation for what they have seems to be the sentiment of these students from Long Branch High as they work on a Habitat for Humanity home, a house that youth built. I think it's a good opportunity, a good opportunity to give back and it just makes me feel happy when I go home that I help somebody get a roof over their head. What has it changed for you? Uh, personally, it's giving me, given me new insight into other people's lives and the adversities they face compared to what we normally would take for granted. The girls make sure the wall to a family's home will stand strong. This is an education for them, an extension of their civil engineering and architecture studies, taking them beyond the classroom. Really what we, what we like to teach at Long Branch is is learning from the mind through the heart and with the hands. So if I can take them out of the classroom and give them an experiential experience in home building such as this, where they can impact a needy family in their own community, it's a win and it's life changing for them. The community appreciated it. The day started with a program that included donations to Habitat from places like Walmart and encouraging words from the mayor. We were approached probably six months ago by representatives of the school, Mr. O'Keefe and rep representatives of Habitat. Do we have available land? Land to donate on 7th Avenue in Long Branch, where once completed, this house will be located. The answer was instantly yes. We will do it if we can. And we worked our way through the process. Now the process is in full swing. We're building uh, wall panels that will be flatbedded over to the home site and then uh, put in place and, and bolted and nailed together. The students, supervised by professionals, will be involved all throughout the project, like in the painting and landscaping. They're putting a lot of muscle into it. Uh, a lot of manual labor, that's what it really is. It's um, very tiring after a while, hammering, hammering nails in all day long. Sore arms aside, it's worth it when you hear the stories like from Barbara Some Durchak, a victim before. of the storm. Habitat pulled me out of a very dark place. After Sandy, when my town, Union Beach, was devastated, we were devastated. Our spirits were, were almost broken. They rebuilt the house. They raised us up in more ways than one. They raised our houses. They raised our spirits. Because of Sandy, the Monmouth County Habitat chapter has been one of the busiest in the state. Helping more than 100 families, more are on the list. It's not yet decided who will get this house. The family will have to qualify, put in sweat equity, and have the ability to carry the mortgage. Habitat homes are not free, but they are needed and welcomed. A lesson these students now know, especially 18-year-old Megan King. Um, my house was destroyed in Sandy too. It changed me, it made me look at things differently and it gave me a new perspective on life, how to not take things for granted because anything can happen and it change very fast. What an education on so many levels as these teens learn about design, construction, and community. For Jersey Matters, I'm Vanessa Tyler. Thank you, Vanessa. Stick around, we are about to introduce you to a hero, an Iraq war veteran who is helping other veterans get the help they desperately need when Jersey Matters continues.